welcome back to Uncle Dan's Backyard Barbecue. If you like this channel, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be doing a special edition of a prime brisket out here on the master built. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the master built prepped and get it ready for our cook because we're going to do an overnight cook. So I want to get, while there's still some sunlight outside, I'm going to get the master built set up. So the first thing is we got our hopper here and I'm going to go today with uh, a couple of different woods. I'm going to go with some cherry wood and some apple wood. So I'm going to go ahead and load those up in the hopper. Then uh, I like to take regular charcoal and put it over the top and we're going to fill this hopper up. Like I said, we're going to cook it overnight to get it ready. we have this inside we're going to go inside and we're going to prep our prime brisket all right welcome back uh, here we are we have our brisket from HEB and we got our we got our knife and what we're going to do is we're going to trim some of this fat off I already got it kind of trimmed when I got the brisket I got a trimmed brisket we're going to put uh, we're going to try some of the HEB Texas brisket seasoning on and we're going to use uh, yellow mustard as our binder and so what I like to do is I like to first cut some of this fat off and I'm going to put it into this pan. And later on, what we're going to do is we're going to slow cook this fat to render it down. And we're going to use that juice when we, you know, that, that all that rendered fat when we go to wrap it um, later on in early in the morning once it gets to temp. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim some of this fat off of here. Put it in here where we got... We want to get probably like a half an inch layer of fat left on here. see it on this side of the brisket here if you look see here's all the meat and then you see this cap you want about a half inch of nice fat that's going to render down into that meat and give it all that flavor so you kind of want to make sure you get about a half inch of that fat and it's looking pretty looks pretty good except for that one little spot there a little high spot okay so now we have it, trim up our point a little bit. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw some uh, mustard on here, rub it in, and then uh, we're gonna use mustard as our binder. Get this nice and And you want to make sure you get it all over both sides. You want to make sure our seasoning, this uh, HEB seasoning, I'm just rubbing it on, covering it all up. And you, you don't have to worry about the, it's not going to, this mustard's not going to change the flavor of the meat at all. So you don't have to worry about that. 
going to be that apple wood and uh, cherry wood smoked. Right. So we're just going to put this on here like so. Nice and covered. All right. You really want to make sure you get all sides covered. Let this salt, pepper, and you know, there's a bunch of different ways that you could get at HEB different seasonings. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this and we'll do the same thing on this side. As you can see, I'm making a pretty big mess here. Nothing wrong with that. Easy cleanup, nice mess. The best part is the good flavor of this brisket, getting this brisket nice and seasoned. And I like to let it sit. so. We're going to put this brisket on about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. tonight, and we're going to let it cook all night. We want to get it to about 185 degrees temperature inside, and once it reaches 185, the master bill will alarm me, you know, on the mobile app. And then from there, we'll go get our brisket, we'll wrap it in butcher's paper, and uh, by then we'll have this fat here in the pan rendered down. And uh, we'll be good to go. So there you go. That's it. That's prepping your meat, getting your brisket ready. Um, got the grill ready. You know, got it all full of charcoal, lump charcoal. And our smoke woods. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to let this rest uh, for about a couple hours till we're ready to... Uh, move this out on the grill all right now we got our mess cleaned up here so i'm going to go ahead and take this fat and what uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it in real little bitty chunks right just on a cutting board real little pieces that'll help us render this fat down so i'm just going to slice it real skinny pieces so, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and continue this, and we'll get our, our fat nice and ready to render it down. I have our fat on low, rendering down, and so this is what it looks like. We're going to take this, and we're going to pour it over the top of our brisket. So what we want to do is cook that fat and get, some, get the grease, and we're going to use that when we put it in our wrap. All right, here we go. We got uh, the master built up to temperature. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to take the brisket and I'm going to put it with the fat side down on the grill here. Get it over here. Get this so we can slide it on over here. Get that fat side down. And we want to get it. We want to make sure we have it in the middle of the grill. There we go. Got our probe. So we're gonna let this cook overnight. All right. So now we're gonna take our brisket, put it on our butcher's paper. All right. So I have the. The juices from the fat that I put down. So we'll put the juices right on top of here. Keep our brisket nice and moist. While we finish it off. Okay. Alright, so now we got it all nice and moist. So 
put our brisket in here. Get our butcher's paper. Okay. Here we go. Get it all nice and tucked in here now. Okay, we're gonna leave it at two, 225 until we get up to 200 degrees. I love the juice. Get. Okay, there we go. So now we'll wait till we get up to 202 degrees. <laughs> 